as you know, uh, since I became minister, that I've been uh, on a program um, to meet the farmers, to discuss with the farmers, and to see what challenges that they face. This meeting here was initiated by, by the Prime Minister, uh, who for, as well, since Hurricane Maria, the farmers in Kahuma have been challenged uh, because of certain land slippages on the roads, uh, making it very difficult for them to access the farms. Uh, today we had a, an opportunity to see exactly firsthand what are some of the challenges. And I must say to you that the first thing that caught my attention was the level of production and productivity uh, that exists here in that Kaum area. And to really, really uh, compliment the farmers here for the tremendous work that they have been doing under tremendously difficult conditions. Um, we looked at the road. Uh, we had with us the Prime Minister was here, the Minister of Public Works was here, the PS Agriculture, the PS Public Works, the Director of um, um, Agriculture, and a number of other engineers and a number of other, uh, uh, including private sector engineers, who were brought here to look at the site and to seek to advise the government as to uh, what is the best solution uh, that we can find to create multiple access on, on, under those farms. Um, we looked, we took notes, and we're hoping that within the shortest possible time, within a day or two, and that all those entities can meet and come together and to advise government as to what is it that can be done to bring some relief um, to the farmers. It, it's, it's going to be challenging. We have some water courses that will create uh, further landslides if not addressed properly. Um, but to say the farmers are in very, very high spirit and um, they are committed really to food production in this country and to improve our food security. And the government has given them a commitment that as soon as we get the drawings, we get the designs, we get the advice, we'll move immediately to ensure that we can create, uh, probably initially on a temporary basis, but to make access to the farms more, 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 um, more, more trouble on a permanent basis. But just to say, I'm very, very impressed, yams, dashing, bananas, ginger, citrus, you name it, you can find it in, 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 in Kahom. And I, again, I will really compliment the farmers and, and, and they were saying to us that people believe agriculture is dead but they, these farmers are convinced that agriculture is alive and well and kicking in this country and that really gives the ministry uh, the, the, the confidence and the faith that we have been doing an excellent job to tell the rest of the world that agriculture is alive and well in this country and we're seeking to see how we can assist and facilitate the farmers in, in, in plying the trade and in increasing our food production, our food security and, and, and productivity on the farms.